Welcome to Kiev at the Eurovision Song Contest 2017 and somehow it feels like to be back to, to Stockholm as last year. <laughs> because with me is Christian Bjorkman. Hello Chris, how are you? I'm very good. Uh, busy, but good. Mm -hmm. Last time we spoke was after Melody Festival in final, mm -hmm. and you said you, had moved, you were going to be moving to Kiev. Yes. So tell, tell me, how has the last few weeks been for you here in Kiev? Well, it started out fairly decent when it comes to tempo and, and workload, but then at a certain point I also had to take on the show producership. And at that point it became really busy because then we had to work with everything, not only the contest, but also the, the show elements, like the, the openings and interval acts, and all of a sudden it became like 13 in Malmö, uh, when I was the only producer, and it's, it's been extremely hectic, I must say. But was it easy to, to come here? And no, I mean, it's never easy to take on a task that is so big in mm. such a short time. Um, and of course, all countries have their challenges, uh, and uh, this one as well, uh, as well as Sweden. We have others, but uh, in the end, uh, you just have to do it. You have to get over the, the boundaries and the difficulties, and you just have to do the job. And that's what we're doing. And I'm amazed, I must say, uh, not wood somewhere, but it's been oh really, <laughs> yeah, but it's been going really, really well. Uh, first rehearsals have gone through uh, without major problems. Uh, we did the second time around with the first half yesterday, which was a great day. Today it's been good so far, so yeah. It, but also for us media guys, we, we have been welcomed by the uh, Ukrainians here and it's organized very well and we know that, that thanks to the Swedish team that you brought with you, it all as they go off to this success. But you know, it's uh, thank you, but it's also a, a very pan-European production. Uh, it's not only Swedes, uh, it, it is a lot of Swedes, but it's also a lot of other countries participating who have done the Eurovision recent years. Mm -hmm. A lot of Germans who did uh, both uh, Dusseldorf and Azerbaijan. Yeah. Uh, we have Marvin, for example, from, from Austria, who, who did uh, Vienna. We have a few Danes who did Copenhagen. So I mean, all together, we have a vast experience of doing Eurovision. So when it all comes together, it, it becomes quite good. And that's the spirit of Europe and Eurovision, of course, it's to be united in this. Yeah, we're 17 nationalities actually all together. So what are the biggest things still coming on apart from the final and the semi-finals for you? Or you think everything is now smoother for you? No, I, I, I still, I mean, piecing it together is always the big issue when, it, when you come to the dress rehearsals. You know, you know what the acts look like uh, when it comes to the competition and then you have to fit it in with all the, you know, the logo, the slogan, uh, the openings, the hosts uh, and the interval acts. So it all has to come together as a, a unity. And you don't really know if it does that till it actually happens. Mm -hmm. So uh, Monday is the next crucial day, I would say. That's where the rehearsal start, of course. And uh, yeah. we've got the red carpet coming on, and uh, at least have a bit of enjoyment there as well. Too. Yes, uh, yes, absolutely. And to meet we everyone. We don't want to take more of your time, and uh, that you can relax a bit as well and uh, have a good, good time. Good Eurovision 2017. And for you too. Thanks very much to, to take the time. Thank you.